Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali. Today I will be teaching you guys how to get this hair look. And I'm really excited because I have some new products and a new curling wand to share with you guys. So let's get started. So we are dealing with third day hair right here. We're gonna have to brush it before we get started. But honestly, dirty hair is the best for this type of look or honestly just curling your hair in general. I know it kind of doesn't feel the best, but it helps to hold the curls really well. This is my hair all brushed out. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some heat protectant spray. I'm gonna be honest, I don't do this every time, but like every time I do remember to do it, I try to. This one is the Lanza Healing Style Thermal Defense Spray. So I'm just gonna spray this throughout my whole hair and then brush it out. And while we're at it, my hair is looking a little bit greasy up top, so I'm just going to spray some dark brown Batiste dry shampoo. This is a lifesaver, especially if you have dark hair, because then you don't have to spend hours and hours getting that white residue out of your hair. It does kind of look like an ashy gray brownish look, but it's better than white. So I'm just going to lift the front part up, spray it in there, and over here and in the back too. And you wanna make sure to do it under layers, just in case you have too heavy of a hand. You don't wanna to spray too much and have that like residue look. So then just rub it in as much as you can. So I know some of you wanted to see my big curl look, but today we're gonna to do more of like a beachy wave. This is kind of just like a beach wave, and I'm so excited because I just bought this um, Dry Bar Mai Tai Spritzer. I've been eyeing this for so, so long. I was in Ulta one day and I had a gift card, so I was like, you know what, today is the day that I buy it, so I splurged. So since I have a lot of hair, I'm just gonna clip the top because it just like feels really overwhelming. So I want the bottom pieces to be the curliest, so I am going to set these in place with little clips, but for the top, we're not gonna be doing that. So we're gonna be taking a section about this big. Since my hair is pretty thick, it's harder to get big sections and actually curl them. So we're going to be sticking to just like a small section and we're always going to be curling away from the face. So stick the curler like this and then curl away from the face. So what's different about this technique rather than my big curls technique is that I do leave a one inch to two inches out of the curl. This just gives like a really beachy look to it. By the way, today I am using my newest curling wand, and I'm so excited. This is the Bombay Hair 5-in-1. I did have a new me, but it broke, so I decided to go with the Bombay Hair one. So I just caught the curl in my hand, leaving that 1 inch to 2 inch section out, and then I'm just going to clip it to my head. And it'll look like that. So remember, away from the face, leaving that two to one inch section out. And it's going to take some time to get used to the whole away from your face thing. I remember I just practiced with my finger and curling like my hair around my finger. We're going to catch the curl in your hand, leaving that two to one inch section out, and then clipping it to your head. I would recommend having the clips all set out for you because the curls are very hot and it could irritate your hands. So I'm just gonna finish the bottom layer and get back to you guys. Okay, so now that all of the bottom hair is done, I'm just gonna unleash the mane and start on the top. So now we are just gonna start from the back like we did on the bottom. And I actually really like when the curls are super close to my root because they're gonna fall anyways. Remember to get that one to two inch section out. I'm not gonna set it with a clip. So what I'm just gonna do is hold it in my hand kind of let it cool in my hand a little bit, and then drop it, and then pull it. So it kind of gives that wave when you pull it. And I'd say I hold it for like 10 seconds to 12 seconds. When you get to the front of your hair, I have um, layers, so I take my bangs out. I kind of like see where my bangs are, and then I can do those separately. You don't want to fully curl it, but what we're going to do is just bend it just a teeny bit, especially because mine are pretty short. So I'm just going to take it and kind of put a bend in the hair. And definitely make sure the bend is away from your face as well as all the other curls. So as you can see, the bend kind of will just fall into the curls. So I finished my top hair, and now what I'm gonna do is take out the clips on the bottom, because they're definitely done setting.
So after, I just kind of play with my hair, not really brush it out, but just kind of twirl the curls together, I guess. Kind of just lightly go through with my fingers. So this is the finished product if you want to stop here. But if you want, you can add another step by adding some beach spray. So like I said, I'm going to be using my Dry Bar Mai Tai Spritzer. This is just a sea salt spray. And I'm just going to spray it everywhere. Then I'm just going to comb through with my fingers again. I'm going to be honest, it kind of feels a little sticky and gross right after you spray it. But just wait a few minutes and it'll be fine. So this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some cool hair techniques, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!